But uh, Flaubert said here, like, bon Dieu est dans le détail, God's in the detail. The detail of the finest granularity is where things lie. So I want to wrap up with something that's pretty cool. And this is a, a guy, Wilfred the Hairy. Now, Wilfred the Hairy um, died in uh, 897. And he, I bring this up because it's important for you to know the history, he was the first person to do a multi-touch paint demo. Now, you don't know this, but as he was dying, he got his hands on a shield, dipped his hands on his blood. He was uh, the founder of Catalonia, and he did uh, this. Right? And the blood of his hands on the yellow golden shield became the flag of, Cat of the Catalan. And that was multi-touch. And I swore I would never do this demo because it's so cheesy. But because it had a historical context, I had to do it. Now, of course, I'm kidding. But what I'd like to do is say, so maybe we could improve on it because it's not 897. So having done that, I want to introduce a really fantastic artist named Nick Kamuda. And you probably saw him uh, this morning when coming out. So Nick's going to come out, and we're going to show you some stuff. And so we'll be quick, but I just want to finish up with, with a sort of an ABA structure of going from the instrument back to, to, an different, to, to artists. There's a project at Microsoft Research called Project Gustav. And, uh, and they've been developing a paint program with brushes that just, in my experience, I've never seen anything like it. Um, Nick knocked this particular painting up off uh, yesterday. He was working on it, but this is painted completely from scratch. Notice he's got a palette, and while he's painting, he dips, he mixes and stirs the paint. What's critical about this thing is that they're using uh, physical modeling to, to actually model the physics and so on of the materials in the brush, right down to the level of the paper. You can, he'll show you, but you can change the paper to get different textures in the canvas, and and it, it's got depth, the lights, ch the shadows change depending on where the lighting is, and the, and the paint behaves correctly. Maybe, Nick, could you just zoom in for a bit and just show like, what happens when you just, yeah, and, totally. and it's, it's got a, we're using some hardware that was loaned to us. It's a prototype hardware from Wacom where it's a mashup of some components that they're developing that include a 10-finger multi-touch coupled with a, a really high-quality stylus. And, and when you come in, you keep going in, and it's not all of a sudden fat pixels. You're, you're getting like incredible detail. And, and you'll notice that if he starts to mess with his fingers, um, he can smear with his fingers and, and the mix of paint, or he can apply with his brush. He can t also manipulate the page. And, and so he can come in for details and so on and so forth. And so just, just quickly while you're doing this, it, but what, what's really clear, he can paint better than I can play saxophone. <laughs> he, and he can really paint better than I can, I can, I can paint. And, and that's the p point. It's not about the technology. Here's a guy who's a professional designer, a trained at an art college, a professional painter. Um, so, I mean, in a sense, how did, as a painter, how do you feel? What, what's the sense of this compared to other painting systems you've used? Um, well, it's, it's pretty amazing. I've had this for maybe two weeks now. Yeah. They gave it to me about two weeks ago to start messing around with. Um, and the, I mean, the number one thing that makes me feel comfortable and at ease about it is the way the color blends behaves like oils, right? So they've got all this complex physics modeling and things to simulate the way the oils come together and the way when I put a mark on the page, let's see, put in, a, put in some blue here on her sash, the way I can come in and just kind of get right into it with my finger. It's just this impulse that I have, you know, after years and years of training, and I can't, I can't ignore it. I just want to use yeah. it, right? So, so do you want to talk a bit about what, what the actual tools you can do that I haven't mentioned yet? Um, sure, sure. So there's, uh, there's a list of brushes here on the yeah. side. Uh, the brush, the way they model the brushes is, is pretty impressive with the, so if you can see, if you can see the brush distortion and things like that there. And then uh, charcoal smear erasers, undo, this kind of yeah. thing. The critical thing here is that I love, and, and we've been working together with them, is that the combination, it's not pen or touch, it's pen and touch. So on the yes. one hand, with the same hand he's using the brush with, he can lay down paint and then s just with his fingers smear it. But he, but he can also use his other hand to, to, or, or multiple fingers to actually work the page. And the modalities are really clear and easy to deal with, whether you're smearing the paint or manipulating the page. Yeah. And it's just totally fluid. And, that, and so this is why this, I mean, this, this technology we're using here to do this right now is held together literally with duct tape. But it's, it's uh, <laughs> I mean, it really Can is. You see that? It's on it the is on the side. <laughs> but, 
But here's, here's where this goes. Why don't you keep hinting and I'll keep talking so sure. we, we don't uh, keep these people from lunch. And the, the thing is this. So you could say, well, I, I don't, I'm not an oil painter. The f message number one, this, this was made and with a total respect, like the Gloutier, for the skills that somebody spent hours and hours over decades to acquire to paint. That's the deal. That's the beauty of it. It's not about uh, cool technology. The, it, the technology is there as a prosthesis for the skills of the artist. I said that what you're born with is a capacity to acquire skill. Every person, every customer you have, no matter what your industry is, has acquired through a lifetime of living in the everyday world really deep specialized skills. What I'm saying is we need as a community to show the same respect for those skills, the specific skills of our target audience, as these people, um, Naga and, and, and Bill, uh, who you'll see in a video that's going to be released today, so you can see some more background on this paint system um, this afternoon on Channel 9. But the same level of skills that Bill and Naga put into this, you, we all need to put into our different applications. But, but if you want to say, well, what has this got to do with you? Just think about this. This stuff now runs, what you're seeing right now started off, when we first saw it, ran on a supercomputer, and now it runs on this TX2 HP laptop. Now, what that means to you is Sketchflow runs on this laptop. So the kinds of things I fantasize about is when you're working within something like Sketchflow, you're smacking things up, that you can work your artwork off and have this caliber of brushes for the designers you're working with, and so they have tools that the minute you give them to them, you'll say, man, you understand what we worked really hard to get. You really respect us. We're going to work our butts off for you. And that's the deal. <laughs>